Hey everyone, welcome back. This is the sixth and final part of the third developer Let's Play video for At The Gates. Uh, we're going to see how far we can get in here and uh, hopefully not uh, run into too much trouble, uh, bandits uh, or otherwise, although it <laughs> seems our uh, friend Attila has certainly not done so well, so it could be an apocalyptic ending to this video. Uh, that does happen sometimes in this game, so I suppose that's somewhat accurate. <laughs> All right, so Adelfried, our wood collector, is immobilized. He is caught in a blizzard. So, he is not going to do anything this turn. Uh, so, we will just have him in camp. And then next turn, hopefully the blizzard goes away and we can start doing some other things. All right, Ryman. Okay. Do -do -do. I don't think I need this scout here fortified still. Okay, so lore keepers we will be done with in just a second. So the scout wouldn't be terrible for that because uh, we have Almond on in here already who's in Discovery, purple. Um, but that, that Vigorous, I always like to take advantage of that. Uh, so I am, I think, going to use Alrem for that instead. So we'll send Alrem back. So now they're both up here. We can tell them to leave if we want. Um, but not necessary at the moment. Okay, so Trapper. We can now get a Trapper. Hillbrand will only take one turn because he's already level 4 like we talked about in the last video. And let's see, is that probably the best thing to do right now? Yeah, because then uh, Lore Keeper next turn, that makes sense. Okay. Alright, so we can delete the note because that's already on its way. Oh, yeah, so shoot. Okay, maybe. Let's see. It's getting close to spring here. It's not, we're not quite there yet. I guess uh, Alert. How long would it take? Alert would be. Oh, shoot, that's right. Yeah, three turns for the Ale Maker because it's, uh, it's uh, another tier up. Uh, you can see in the upper right corner that tooltip. Uh, it's a level five agriculture profession. So, yeah, maybe we should start on that first uh, next turn. Okay, so here we go. All right, our gather has finally reached the berries, so we can start collecting them safely. And keep moving. All right. We can now train lore keepers. Yes, I like it. Cool, look at that. Uh, our timing worked out just just right. So it's uh, late February and it just warmed up a little bit, just enough that uh, they can keep working there. All right, our other gatherer we can send down this way. Hopefully they don't run into any unexpected surprises. <laughs> collector. All right, so many foragers, my goodness. All right, down this way. That's going to be quite a trek. Hmm, let's see. You know, I want to make sure we give Clovis a wide berth here because uh, he's already scolded us and uh, they do still pay attention to what's going on. So I think uh, I might bite the bullet here and go the long way. Yeah, we'll head this this route around. Okay. All right. So I think what we wanted to do. Oh shoot, that's right. Uh, duh. Forgot about the other cost of the Lord Keeper, which is parchment, which we obviously do not have, and it's going to be a couple months until the caravan arrives, and we can purchase some. So that is not an option for us. Something else we could do. You know, it was nice having that second blacksmith, I'll tell you what. Because uh, <laughs> it really came in handy. Maybe another digger. So who do we who do we have here? Who is available? So everybody's trained except Rock here, who wants a profession and honor. So he would probably make a good archer. We also have Almond here. Um, <laughs> train another bard. 
more people. Uh, we definitely don't have the alcohol to support that, though. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe I will just bite the bullet here. Yeah, another digger. Another digger makes sense because uh, we have some minerals here that we can grab. All right, now our studying. It's nice because these uh, lower lower tier uh, professions only take a couple turns to, to to learn, so you can constantly be working on something new and upgrading. So a dredger, dredger might be nice. We do only have the one digger though. That's going to be on. Oops, oops, buttons, buttons. Basket maker might make sense, but yeah, we have to send them back in order to upgrade them, which is kind of a pain. Maybe I should take away that requirement. It's not a lot of fun. <laughs> the only problem is I don't want people. Uh, you know, uh, upgrading their archers or whatnot on the front lines as they're about to get attacked. It's kind of weird. Uh, but maybe that's better than uh, than not going after something like the basket maker because I'm like, well, I don't want to send my guys back. So it's almost like it's not even there. Something to think about anyways. And is there anything over here that might make sense? I could do a tracker. That's... So, it's going to take a while to research, although we will have the lore keeper up soon, so that is actually something that isn't uh, the end of the world. So, you know, I might do that. I might do that, because uh, we, we can definitely afford the tools. Uh, we're producing alcohol, we can buy a little bit more, and the uh, lore keeper will have that done uh, in pretty short order. So, we can go ahead and get started on it, get the ball rolling. Ooh, expect a scalding summer. Okay, so, hot. Hot, hot, hot. Okay, all right, you need to encamp this turn, because these this area is just not very conducive to... Let's see here. Okay, these next two turns. Hmm, all right, well, I think we'll hop over on this side. I should have just pillaged that farm so long ago. What am I doing? Okay, end the turn. Oh, we're almost at our clan limit again. We're just uh, pumping people out here. They're just flocking to us. Forge, not forge safely. It's always a good habit to get into unless you know there's something else that you want to be doing. Okay, so our digger is done. And I think this iron probably makes the most sense to go after. There's also some stone up there, but it's just not, you know, not within range. There we go. Okay, can't do that just yet. And everybody is in decently good shape. Self-sufficient. Okay, caravan. Alright, so what was it that we wanted to do here? Man, we just... Uh, so we finally got our stone quarry online. Caravan shows up. Don't have any stone yet. Bummer. Um, so we needed... We needed a few different things. We needed... Um, parchment. That's probably the big one. Yeah. Don't have... A whole lot to sell, unfortunately. Coal is just... Yeah, shut down the coal production pretty much. Timber, we have some of. This is going to cost 20. We have a long way to go to get to 20. <laughs> hmm, let's see. How can we pull that off? We have. Alright, we're going to get some more iron online here soon. So. I don't want to sell too much, because it's not going to be there just yet. Should have kept that parchment earlier. Okay, so we need... four more. And we should be able to pull that off. We can sell some wood here. Yeah. 
Okay. Parchment. There's our five. Alright, I'm not sure we can really afford anything else. It's just, um... If we had that stone, not quite there yet. Uh, but we are producing a good amount of timber again, so... Uh, but that stone is that stone is going to be uh, something that really helps us out. So it's uh, one per, one each. So that's going to be basically five treasure per turn that we can use for whatever we want. Ooh. <laughs> okay. okay, so Adeland, I think showed up uh, the previous turn. Eager wants professional honor, so like archer. Oh, and slothful. So <laughs> great. Okay, so let's see, we have several things that we want to get going here. Shoot, I want uh, Ale Maker here. All Ram as a Lore Keeper to speed up the trackers. Hmm, I think I might do that first. I, we can also do an Archer, so I'll do that. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so all ram, your lore keeper rock, you will be second archer. Okay. Not sure what to do with Adelan just yet. Uh, rude. We're gonna need some cloth here again to keep uh, keep that support limit where it's somewhere usable. Okay, I think we're good for this turn. Fortunately, we haven't been attacked yet. We're not. Uh, we've been a little lucky there, I think. I'm tempted to send him out a little bit, but it's just probably not a great idea. <laughs> All right, there. All right, yeah. So we're starting to get some barley. Cool. So barley, uh, we can we can also eat barley, which is quite nice. This vast barley field, it's gonna we, we are in good shape. It's it's funny we have all these uh, kind of um, special sources of food. We have honey, we have barley. Uh, we don't have anything that's a little bit more traditional like wheat uh, or uh, I don't know whatever just things that are converted directly into food. These things get stockpiled because you can do other stuff with them like. Uh, uh, turn them into into wine or alcohol, that sort of thing. Uh, so that's kind of interesting. All right, so Hillbrand, you'll sneak down this way. I'm hoping you won't find anything that causes us to scream. All right, so we are now pulling in three meat and four fruit per turn, all from our foragers. So this is, you know, it's, like I was saying, kind of an example of. Uh, food that's just directly turned into food. We don't stockpile meat, we don't stockpile fruit. Uh, and we're producing a little bit of a surplus. Um, you know, you can see we're collecting just a little bit over a, or a little bit under a, an extra turn of food every turn, so we're doing pretty good there. Okay, settlement is idle. So we just finished our lore keepers, and now trackers are down to four turns. Yeah, that's what I like to see. And, alright, so we can switch our ale maker over, or we can train our second archer. I think I'm going to do the second archer first. Uh, yeah, mm, yeah, I think that makes sense. Because um, we're already using alert to make alcohol, uh, so we're not in any hurry. Whereas if uh, some bandits show up, we could, you know, really regret that situation. Keep moving. Alright. Slowly make your way. That swamp is going to be really unfortunate. <laughs> so everybody's kind of running on their own now, which is nice. Look at all this green over here. That's what I like to see. Everything green. Cool. Boom! All the numbers. Yeah. So now we're now we're kind of getting into the mid game. Uh, turn 50. So we're 
we're producing a lot of resources. We're um, getting a bit of an army together. Uh, we have a lot of people going around doing stuff. We have uh, all men break dancing. Uh, you know, it's all working out pretty good. Something okay. So wood collector, we can make a little, uh, maybe like a little uh, tunnel here <laughs> through this uh, all this dense forest that could come in handy. All right. So another archer, second archer. Eh, we can we can leave that archer just to differentiate them, kind of give them a little bit of history and character. So first archer. You know, when I was younger, I used to play uh, some games. Uh, strategy games, and I grew up reading a lot of books about World War II and all of the formations, uh, you know, First Division, Fifteenth Panzer Division, those sorts of things. So I like to, I like to name all of my military units in particular, uh, and kind of, you know, come up with stories for them as I go. So this is, you know, one potential way of, uh, of using the sticky note system, you know, Second Archer Brigade or whatever. Uh, you know, add a little bit more personality to these guys. Uh, well, it's not something I do so much anymore, but it's still uh, a fun way to play. And hopefully uh, some other people can take advantage of that as well. Alright, so our trappers are entering a river swamp. So you can see in the bottom right turn, lose next two turns if entered. So uh, Hillbrand, you're going to be busy for a while. Uh, <laughs> trying to get out of the muck. Okay. All right, so now, thank you, Sticky Note, we can get our Ale Makers train. So that's three turns on that. It's not great, uh, but, you know, uh, it would be a lot worse if it's, uh, if we just trained somebody else. So let's say, let's say Adelan, what if we want to do him? Six turns, okay, yeah. <laughs> not, uh, not so good, so we'll just keep uh, repurposing some of these guys. And one turn until we hit that, and we will be maxed out. We are a few turns away from a caravan still, so it's going to shut us down for a little bit. But that's okay. We're, we're, we're cruising pretty good. We have 72 points here. Yeah. Clan Adelmar. Okay, so unfortunately, one, uh, one consequence of uh, retraining alert is that uh, it's uh, shut down, you know, because he's being retrained, he's not making wine anymore. And so that's shut down our production of alcohol. Uh, but it's not really necessary because we've maxed out. So we can actually oops, tell him to stop working. No. Okay. Oops, type, type make this one red too uh, so that we make sure to notice it okay train clan oh man level five here we go these guys are just coming out of the woodwork left and right all right so archer make our way slowly through the forest Eastern Roman Empire has been torn apart by civil war. Oh dear. Well, I have no idea where the Eastern Roman Empire is, so I'm not going to worry too much about it. <laughs> Just yet. So... Something that might be nice would be another archer. Because once we have um, multiple archers, so we'll have... Uh, we have our eastern flank here protected from the bandits out that direction. We'll have our western flank protected over here. Uh, and as soon as you get two archers, you can, um, if you have more warriors than your enemy, you can lay siege to them, and that reduces their supply. So instead of having to do a direct assault, we could uh, wear them down slowly. So I'm thinking this might be a good area to go after, because we know there's this bandit camp here. And then this could kind of be like our own little peninsula. We could uh, potentially migrate up that direction once we are done in this area. And it's, um, yeah, it's something where I'm not too worried about Clovis coming up that way. Uh, it's going to take him a while to get over there. Uh, there's more bandits here, but we could send our archers up further uh, and, and know that this entire flank is pretty well defended. Uh, you know, we, we've kind of made made right with Clovis, so this could be a, a nice little area to uh, take for our own. So, 
I'm going to proceed onward. All right, we can now train trackers. That's nice. All right, Archer. Let's send him that way. Now we can cross this hill if he needed to, so we can go either direction. All right, study profession. We finish our trackers, which is nice. Now this is kind of another a uh, transition period where um, kind of decide what direction we want to go. Something that might be nice here. Yes, I like the looks of that. Yes, I do. I do indeed. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, brewers. Brewers would also be nice, but. Um, yeah, that's a that's a level seven profession in the upper right, and you can see how many turns it would take to to, to learn that. Uh, not not gonna do that at this point. We have enough other things that we we can get moving um, on. So yeah, we're in pretty good shape here. This is about when the uh, giant horde of bandits or uh, <laughs> you know the Romans land uh, an expeditionary force with a giant fleet on our on our. You know, safe coast over here. Something to, to derail things a little bit. Uh, and this is also kind of the point where we want diplomacy to take uh, more of a bigger role in the game. Uh, it hasn't uh, really to this point. Uh, in the early game, we, we've obviously showed off some of the diplomatic options that are in at the moment. Uh, but they haven't really shaped the game in a dramatic way. So we were worried about Attila, of course. That, would, that probably would have shaped things a little bit more if he hadn't been uh, just completely... Uh, you know, obliterated by bandits. And uh, this this would kind of be the point where he is gearing up for war and he would potentially come after us. So, you know, we are a couple archers here. Wouldn't probably be enough. We would need to be pushing on the military front. We would want to be upgrading our uh, our weaponry, our, our military, you know, getting spearmen here, which require a lot of weapons, but are much stronger than archers. Uh, things like lancers, which are you know very powerful cavalry units, and, and even more. There's uh, you know men at arms, uh, which require armor, which we haven't even built yet. Uh, so there's a lot of stuff we haven't gotten into uh, to this point. Um, but those are things that will certainly be a factor. It's just a matter of uh, implementing them and playtesting and make sure they fit into the game in the way that we like. So our archers progressing that direction. Hey, Hillbrand, nice of you to join us. Oh yeah, that's right. Oh, <laughs> we gotta identify the deposit first. Okay, so maybe a little uh, jump the gun a little bit on the on those trackers. All right, so our caravan is here. We need cloth, like whoa, stone. Sell the stone, yes. Look at that. That's that's nice. That is nice. So we have a lot of timber here as well. We're just uh yeah, we are in good shape here now. Look at all of this. Look at all of this. All right. Yeah, I mean and uh our ale makers online. Yeah, we are cooking. We are cooking now. Okay, so I'm probably going to sell a little bit of timber. Yeah, you will earn an additional 0.5 treasure profit for selling timber to this caravan because it doesn't have any. Uh, so if we were out of timber and expecting it to be there so we could use it, that would be terrible. Uh, but instead, we can sell it for a very, very nice profit. Boom. All right, 60 wealth. All right, that is, that is nice. That is what I like to see. All right, buy 10 for 40. Boom. And... There we go. Up to 26. Now, now we're, we're getting... Oops. Always open up the wrong screens. Let's see, is there anything else we want to do while we are here? Because it might be nice to start grabbing some other resources that we can take advantage of. Um, I'll show all. Let's see everything that we have on the screen. We could start uh, collecting some oil. Uh, parchment is always nice because of its ability to speed things up. So I think I might grab some of that. Uh, we're going to have our own supply here soon, so I'm not sure I want to spend all of my money on it, but we have a lot coming in, so, you know, I'm just going to do it. Okay. Alright, 
So I'll leave the caravan screen on this advanced mode now. Okay, so, aha, Rude is not working. Thank you, sticky note. Resume. There we go. Delete. Okay. Oh. 31 turns. I don't think so. That looks like a bug. <laughs> okay, once you reach 171, you have 140 in the stockpile. Okay. It's probably calculating that based to 171 divided by 5 instead or something. Oh, wait, no, it's icy, so it's not accounting for the alcohol here. But we are producing it. All right, so there is a display bug, but oh well. It's not uh, going to affect our game. Okay. So, gonna wind things down here in a little bit, but um, see and see what kind of progress we can make here before uh, we wrap up this uh, let's play. Another archer would certainly be helpful. Another ale maker would be helpful. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's not gonna be one turn because the only one that we already have is our ale maker. Six turns, everybody else. All right, I think another archer is in order. Adeland, wouldn't it be nice? Slothful. I really don't want a slothful archer. That is not gonna work out so well. Huh. So who do you use instead? Adelmar doesn't have a profession, but he really wants to be in metalworking, uh, so yeah. Now one thing we could do is Eberhardt might want to be an honor. So we've already switched him out of honor, so unfortunately we're going to have to retrain him from scratch. Uh, but one thing we can do is that parchment we just picked up, we can use. We can train him in honor. Uh, as you can see here, um, it, he will abandon his current profession, so that kind of stinks. Uh, what is he right now? Eberhardt is blacksmith. Okay, so our tool supply will be shut down if we do that. Uh, but you know, I think we can. I can. We can manage that for uh, for a little bit. So, uh, anyways, to uh, train them in honor, we spend um, parchment, one parchment, and it takes up our turn. Uh, that's basically what our training project is for the turn. Uh, but then uh, we get an extra turn for free. So normally it would take uh, four turns to make him an archer. Instead, it will only take three. Um, so I think that is what I want to do. So we'll train him in honor, and then we can make Adelmar our blacksmith. You know, maybe it makes more sense, actually, to do it the other way around and do the blacksmith first, because it'll only take one turn for him, and we can continue making tools in the meantime. I think that makes more sense. Okay. Clovis of the Franks has a message for you. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh Oh no. <laughs> All right. Well, it seems that uh, it seems that we got a little bit too close. Um, our trapper is uh, our trapper is in uh, in some turf that he's claimed, or maybe uh, it might be it might be almond or digger. I forget which. Um, either way, um, I screwed up. <laughs> and the flank that I thought was going to be protected, I have now made a mortal enemy uh, because I basically lied to him twice. So, uh, yeah, I'll need to work on that. Um, but I think that's about it for this game. Um, I appreciate everybody watching. It's been a lot of fun to uh, make these videos, and hopefully you guys will continue following along with At The Gates. Uh, it's, you know shaping up to be a really really good game and uh, hopefully you know later this year uh, we'll be able to get it into your hands so you guys can play as well uh, as always you can uh, get in on our test group by pre-ordering game for fifty dollars and that will give you access to the current version of the game you can uh, you can play out this map and see if you can do even better uh, but one thing I I should note is that uh, it is called the test group for a reason. Uh, we're not even really referring to it as early access. Uh, you know, we do on the website just so people know what it is, but it's not, um, 
you know, it's, this game is still in development. It's still being made. Uh, we have some work to do. We have a lot of polish. The game's going to be a lot better when we're done. So if you're looking for a fun game, uh, I would probably wait until we uh, give you the all clear and release the game officially. But if you want to uh, help us out and you like what you see, uh, we would certainly welcome your support. So I appreciate that and appreciate you guys watching, as I said before. And thanks again. We'll talk soon.